Too many books on my TBR. Too many books on my TBR. Yeah. This podcast is like a book club for the antisocial. We make a drink inspired by the book we read and talk crap about life and fictional characters. We really hope you listen and drink along. Side effects of listening to this podcast may include reading vivaciously, extreme bouts of laughter, tipsiness from craft cocktails, talking shit about life and fictional characters. Listen at your own risk. Just a warning, this podcast is explicit. We are all over 21 and there are spoilers. We, we warned ya. ya. Oh my gosh, we're doing a mini sewed. Sorry, I wanted to give you a moment. <laughs> Who is your favorite character in this whole wide book? We're talking about fourth wing again because we couldn't put... Shut up. We couldn't stop talking, but it, we were at the hour mark. We were almost at the hour mark. We had to stop talking. So we ha- we forced ourselves to. Mm-hmm. At least we have to take the phone call out. That buys us a few minutes. It does. I'm so sorry. But... Okay. That no, gives us good. time. Look, I don't want it. To, I don't want to see it as a movie. Mm-mm. I don't want to see it as a show. I don't want to see it as an animation Mm-mm. because it's just going to let me down. But I, I want to do that. Yeah, let's think about it and do a TikTok on it. Okay, because I got to think. Some of the fan art that I've been seeing for these characters is absolutely <gasps> incredible, though. Stunning. Honestly. If they do, a free, if they adapt this, which they are, aren't they? Did they already say that? Or oh, is that I don't fake? know. Is that real life? I don't know. Maybe. I really genuinely don't know. I don't know. Um, Don't let me watch it. Honestly. Okay. I'm going to watch it. I I shouldn't. Um, fair. If they do adapt it, I hope she pulls like a Sarah J Mass and just becomes absolute, like, you know what I mean? Just like, yeah. y- you won't adapt it unless it's like perfect. Yeah, fair enough. You know who they should get to adapt it? Rick Riordan. Rick and Greta. Yes. The okay, team then I would together. watch it. Then I would watch it. Oh, that would be a powerhouse. Mm-hmm. Rick and Greta Gerwig adapting a book together. Holy cow. Oh, this would be the most beautiful book that she could, sh- she would just thrive with this book. Like, I know she hasn't done fantasy before, and that would be a huge leap. Um, but I think she would hit it out of the park. Oh, yeah. But just, like, woman character, strong, doesn't let her, like, chronic illness get her down. Amazing. Um, oh, wow. Greta, you should do it. <laughs> yeah. Not me, like, totally convincing myself. <laughs> that she's listening right now? You don't think Greta's watching us? <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night. I. Who do you love? We know the answer to that. Does his name start with an X? Me too. Mm-hmm. I love Zayden. Aren't you? Don't you just feel so good that like you, as a morally character lover, loving person, that you finally have one that like is genuinely good inside? Yes, because I love the morally grays and I love the villains and the fact. That he's actually leading the revolution to save the people. Oh. I can't get over it. I, I literally, it's This character incredible. was written for us. Thank you, Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca, if you want to come on the podcast, we can say you're listening to Tipsy Book Reads. I'm Rebecca. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Jessica. Yeah. Or we could say it like, I'm Rebecca. I'm Jess and I'm Rebecca. So then it's like a Rebecca sandwich. Or we can say, I'm Rebecca, I'm Rebecca, I'm Rebecca. But I'm not Rebecca. But you could be a Rebecca for a day. <laughs> I can't. Th- Rebecca. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. <laughs> Ted Lasso? No? Okay. Oh. It's fine. It's like um. the the water show all over again. H2O? <laughs> You know what I mean? You don't know what I mean? Hey, here's the thing. Let's do a pop culture moment. Should we do it? I have one. Mm-hmm. But I feel like it's more than pop culture. Aliens. What? Have you seen? <laughs> no. Oh my God. There was like, I'm going to get this wrong. Some sort of government thing because I only watched one video on it. So don't take my word. <laughs> But they, like, did a hearing or something, and someone in the military 
came out and spoke about that there's aliens in that there were like well like we know there are aliens right like sure no 100 percent. like we there's no way there isn't it's well place yeah is but huge. it's also like a multiverse so there's so there's a like a lot going on it. there's a lot going on um but it's freaking hilarious right now on tiktok because this happened last week and everyone was just like yeah we know this but like what about rent <laughs> are the aliens minding their business are th- <laughs> then we're good that's What's what the I'm problem saying? here um so it's just it's really funny um th- i watched one video before you got here and so it's been on my mind huh. should we get back to fourth wing yeah oh I my just, gosh you know i can't wait to reread this same i think maybe i'll just do that as soon as we finish i just got an alert that you edited our shared note oh i opened it to see what book we were reading just now when we were oh i just got it that's weird oh you know what we didn't talk about what her almost dying and getting oh yeah yeah that was bad that was wild like liam died and then she fights and she gets stabbed with a poison blade. And then Brennan comes back, which I loved how they did that. Yeah, me too. Also, that they were all basically like, we, well, who was it? Imogen that was like, we could bring her to Nolan, mm-hmm. which would sacrifice all of their lives, first of all, because they'd probably like, so be killed. But she was ready to do that. She was. Good point. And then when they decided to bring her. To Brennan instead, they he was like they were having this conversation about it, and pretty much they were all like, "We have to save her, like, one hundred percent." Yeah, like not one of them was like, "No, we can't take her there. We don't know if we can trust her." It's a terrible they were idea. All like, yes, yeah, we're gonna do it anyway. Mm-hmm. They were all game to save her, which was so incredible. Much. You know, Violet always needs something to be mad at Zayden about, and I fully can see the next thing is that he knew. Brennan has been alive this whole time. They're probably besties. I loved him bringing up the point of saying, I've known better poison. Oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah. So obviously they know each other. They're probably like friends. I, it feels like it. Cause he even was like, um, knowing him, it'll be one question. Right. And also like he was waiting outside the door for Zayden to talk to her. And he's like, be patient. I'm trying to talk to my girl, basically. How do we? And Brendan's like, bruh, I gotta talk to my sister. I need to know how Brendan feels about them. I need to. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we have to wait till November to uh, read this book. Uh, can the next one be a dual POV, please? Yes, can it? Because I loved that last in his point of Me view. Me too. I need more from his brain. And also Brennan's. Also Brennan's. Also Mira's. Just all of them. Can you just write like a million of these? But also, Rebecca, if you want to send us a pre, a before. (gasps) An arc? Oh my God. Yeah, well, I mean, we're going to read it anyway. So either way, if you decide not to, we won't feel bad. We'll still read it. (laughs) But it'd be cool. That would be so cool. Oh my gosh. Also, did Zayden leave her flowers? There was like a bouquet of violets in her room at one point. Was there not? I'm pretty sure. Did I, I make that up? I don't know, but I just opened to a page, and the first thing I saw was, the brilliant fucking woman is mine. <laughs> okay. I love, like, how many times he's, like, she's brilliant, she's incredible, she's badass. I don't know. I'm, when I reread it, I'll try to find it. But I'm pretty sure. I need more. I need more right now. Why now? He's so good. Yes. Oh, he stayed in his room. He didn't even leave. He didn't even leave for the burning oh. of Liam. Which I feel like Violet would have been like, why didn't you stick me in a wheelchair and wheel me out there while I was unconscious? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But he never leaves her side. Same as when after she poisoned Jack with the oranges, which did we even talk about that? No. <laughs> There's so much in this book. Um, she fucking poisons Jack with she's allergic cr- to oranges. But then told them what it was and what that he's allergic 
so that they could save him in time because she's an incredible person. But like Zayden was over there like brooding on her bedside. Oranges? Really? I'm taking over. Until oh, forever. Incredible. So that and then when he's at her bedside now, like and she is so smart that sometimes she's so stupid because in her head, sometimes she's still like, oh, it's only because he doesn't want to die. Bruh, he is in love with you. Shut up. You are he dumb. Loves you. He loves you he loves so you. much. I will say like that trope kind of bothers me when the girl's like, oh, he actually still hates me. Like he doesn't love me. It's only for his it's like ulterior, ulterior motives. Motive. Um, I'm like. Okay, you're dumb. Like, you're way too smart to, like, be acting this dumb. You know? I agree. Um, we can't love everything about a book. That's true. Yeah. Any other red flags? Everything Dane. Dane. And Jack, but he's Jack. dead, so. Her mom. Her mom is one hot red flag. I just feel like there's going to be someone else that comes out in the second book that's like a um spy for the other side but not the good side not the rebels mm. her mom yeah if it's her best friend i'm gonna riot oh no i don't think it will be it'd be fun it would be we'll see oh i loved that book me too jeez Mm-hmm. Oh, also, him, speaking of taking over all of her stuff and everything, Zayden taking over Violet's stuff, um, they literally train constantly together. They ride together all the time. Mm-hmm. I love that. Yep. I don't want to stop talking about this book. <laughs> I'm going to read it again. I'm down. Um... Do you understand the map at all? No. Me either. I feel like... Oh, I'm so sorry, microphone. I hate you. Um, I also have a really hard time with the names of each thing. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hmm. It's gorgeous. I wonder who illustrated it. Probably says. Ooh. Praise for fourth wing. Suspenseful. Sexy with an incredible, entertaining storyline. The first and how do we say her last name? I just realized we've never said her last name. Oh, where do you see it? Y a r r o s. Oh, Yaros. Is it Yaros? I think so. Rebecca Yaros. Um. Series that will delight fans. I've heard people say that this might be a five book series. Oh my god. Which I'm here for, but oh my gosh, that's gonna be like five years. If she can get a book out a year. Wow. Anywho. I can't even stop thinking about this book. There's too bad there's not questions at the end. Is there anything to look? I don't think so. There's a little trial thing at the end. Starbringer. Do we know Which what that is? Which is by Tracy Wolf, right? That's so bizarre, right? And Nina Croft. <laughs> I'm lost. Uh, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Wait. Maybe authors can put... Who is that one by? Assistant to the villain. Are they like ads? That one's by Hannah Mayer. Can you like put ads in a book? Like do other authors pay authors to put a clip of their book in it? I don't know. I'm confused. Hannah Mayer's Laugh Out Loud Viral. <laughs> Sorry. I just said Laugh Out Loud. <laughs> they were all Laugh Out Loud. They wrote it out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Viral TikTok series turned into a no- novella. I'm just kidding. It's a novel. About the sunshine assistant to an evil villain. That's kind of right up my alley, actually. Yeah. Rebecca, you're stunning. You're beautiful. You're wonderful. And Zayden is stunning, beautiful, wickedly gorgeous. And Violet's wonderful, stunning, gorgeous. And so are we. 
<laughs> so come on our podcast talk about fourth wing with us rebecca yes do it um because obviously we have a ton of questions we'll make you a drinky drink if you don't drink a drink we'll, we'll make, make you, you a mocky tail. tail mocky ma mocky tail don't love it anyways <laughs> a cocky tail and a mocky tail <laughs> don't love it <laughs> <gasps> rate like subscribe if you don't you're not cool no i'm just kidding oh that's mean <laughs> i didn't like that either well if you do you're really cool you're really cool and you joined our book club you know if you think that your bestie would enjoy our book podcast you should send it to them anywho we love you is there anything else we should talk about nope okay that covers it Thanks for listening to our little mini sode. Um, it would have been cool if we thought this had a ahead of time and like got questions and stuff mm, and yeah. oh well and things. But um, it is <gasps> what it is. Oh my gosh, I started to think about earlier your fan art thing that you mentioned. Yeah, there was one fan art of the two of them, like with in between. There's a window, and then obviously the two dra- dragons, but they were like from the book fucking but you don't really realize that and the the picture but it's gorgeous it's so beautiful and they're like tattoos on their backs oh my gosh so cool we're showing so cool i saw one that was like it was just taryn's head like taking up the whole photo and he's like looking down and then andarna is like wrapped around violet and then she's like standing there with her like crown braid incredible which i saw someone do a video on how to do it <gasps> and my hair wasn't dry enough because i showered today mm. to do it oh my gosh we should do it after this yeah we'll take pictures okay okay now i'm done talking okay bye bye